Hello students, today we're taking a look at the isolation of caffeine from tea and today we will be using regular Lipton black tea in order to extract the caffeine from it. So I have a Erlenmeyer flask of water boiling here and we've got about 180 milliliters of water in the flask. Uh, what we're going to do is add six tea bags to our water and we're also going to add five grams of calcium carbonate. Them in one at a time using my glass rod to get them to the bottom here. And it's important to make sure we don't add in the tab just because we're going to make sure we don't extract any liquid from the paper tab. Uh, put in a few more. Okay. And since our water is already boiling, once I get all six tea bags in, we're going to let this boil for a total of 20 minutes. So this is a very, very concentrated tea solution. And calcium carbonate is going to help us break open some compounds. Uh, calcium carbonate is a mild base, and we will see that uh, our solution here is going to be a very, very creamy looking color at the moment, thanks to the calcium carbonate. All right. Now that I've got all my tea bags in, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that they are nice and wet and I'm going to take a quick look at the clock just to ensure we can measure 20 minutes of time. All right so while this is boiling I just want to add a little information for you. On our box of tea here we have some very important information you'll need to know. It tells us here that we get 55 milligrams of caffeine per 8 ounce serving of the tea. So, uh, you know, for six bags here, we would multiply these 55 milligrams by six. All right, we will come back in a minute when uh, our tea is brewed. Okay, while our uh, solution of tea is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and measure out five grams of sodium chloride. We're going to need this in a little bit when uh, our solution is cooling. So I'm going to go ahead and just get things ready by uh, pre-measuring my five grams of sodium chloride. Okay, let's go ahead and go check on our solution. All right, so our solution has been boiling for 20 minutes, and if you see here, our, uh, our liquid line is a little bit diminished, but not too, too bad. I'm going to go ahead and start taking out our tea bags, and using this big pair of forceps here, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze out as much liquid as I can from each tea bag uh, before I set it down. And that's because we want to try to collect as much of the liquid as possible. So during this uh, boiling, we have pretty much been performing a solid liquid extraction. Uh, we are extracting the compounds of interest from our solid tea leaves, and they are now dissolved into the liquid. And so this will take me a little bit uh, to remove all of these tea bags and squeeze out the liquid. As soon as I get all of these tea bags squeezed out, we will go ahead and filter this liquid. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get this guy all nice and filtered. Ready? All right. So we're uh, going to go ahead and give this guy a nice swirl. And I'm going to add a filter to my beaker funnel. And as you always should, you wet down your beaker funnel just slightly with a little bit of water. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the vacuum, give it a, a twist just to ensure our vacuum is flowing. And Lastly, I'm going to give our compound just a little bit of swirl in here as we filter. Now I'm going to go kind of slow. And there we go. As I'm filtering, I'm checking my filtrate down below to ensure that we have a nice dark coloration going on. All right. And the reason why we want nice dark coloration down here is to ensure that no calcium carbonate has gotten through. Okay, so uh, that's pretty important here. Uh, if we get any calcium carbonate through, it will ruin our, ex our next extraction process, which is the liquid-liquid extraction. So again, I'm checking to make sure we get no calcium carbonate through to the bottom and only our, you know, very, very dark tea. 
And it looks kind of like black coffee. And if you notice, we're getting some foam in the tea. And that's because tea has a whole lot of compounds known as saponins. Uh, saponins are similar to soap molecules in that they have a uh, polar side and a very long non-polar uh, portion to the molecule. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and rinse my container here with a little bit of uh, deionized water just so I can make sure to maximize our solid liquid extraction portion. Okay, so that looks very good. I'm going to ask Lee to bring the camera closer so that you can see the cake that forms at the top of the filter. Go ahead and turn up the back just a bit. And so all of that dark stuff at the top is your calcium carbonate, along with some tannins. Uh, that have been extracted from the solution. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, place our filter filtered solution on ice. But before we place it in ice, we're going to add our salt. Because you might know this from home, Salt doesn't dissolve very well in cold solutions, so we're going to go ahead and add it now while our solution is still somewhat warm. And we're going to place this in an ice bath for about five minutes. We'll be back in just a little bit.